This is just a little video and a little fixture conversion I did last year. This was originally a uh, 1,500 watt uh, linear halogen floodlight that I got at PT Surplus last summer. And when I got it, I had originally set it up to be a work light, and then when I went to install the lamp, the lamp holders disintegrated, which is one reason why I really prefer GLS lamps or screw-based lamp, uh, halogen lamps as opposed to a recessed single contact lamps because the lamp holders really like to disintegrate and that was actually one reason why I didn't run one of my uh, work lights last earth hour because the little crap lamps it came with kept disintegrating and yeah, you know, annoying. But anyways, what I did is I pretty much yanked the, the recessed um, single contact lamp holders which originally went in those little semicircular uh, indents in the casting and replaced them with a pair of uh, medium screw lamp holders from a dead light fixture. Like it was a one of those ceiling dome type uh, lights that we had a number of in our house where the glass around the rim broke. I do is whenever that would happen, we'd take the fixture out of commission and replace it. I'd uh, pull the lamp holders out of them, and this is where two of them ended up. So it's um, all the splicing is done in the existing wiring channels. The uh, which are also molded into the casting and uh, see the wires go down there and the wires go down there and there's a splice in there and then what I did is I just put in a piece of um, regular high temperature zip cord or I don't know it might just be regular zip yeah, I think it is regular zip cord actually but this doesn't get anywhere near as hot as when it as it would be in normal service because it's just got a pair of 100 watt GLS lamps in it those are crappy uh, Indonesian Philips lamps. They're uh, it's not exactly the most reliable things because I had some Indonesian Econowatts, which is the Philips uh, low, um, reduced power consumption line of GLS lamps. And normally rated to last a thousand hours or so. And I had one package that probably never made it to 20 hours of service before dying. Whereas I've had Mexican Econowatts that have uh, been in service for years with regular use and they last, but then again, crap lamps. But anyways, um, uh, and then so that zip cord just runs through the uh, wire junction here into this regular outdoor switch box because it's got a standard uh, half inch uh, threaded connection on there. Fairly standard for outdoor stuff and little not normally used for outdoor use uh, Romex uh, NM cable strain relief. Uh, but that bit is shielded so there can't be any real water ingress down there. So it's not a bit, not much of a problem. So, but it, it's a work light, it isn't really intended for uh, real heavy duty service. And it's on this little star design base that I originally came up with for the uh, light towers for the uh, chicken houses. And which has so far been fairly reliable. So that's just a little fixture conversion thingy. And some chickens.